Hello everyone, welcome to another lovely, exciting week on The Real. As usual, my name is Linda and I'm your host every week, bringing you tips and reviews on nice movies to watch, whether it's Netflix or cinema movies. My job is just to tell you about the movies. This week, I want to talk about Judas and the Black Messiah. A black movie, simple, very nice, dirty storyline. I'm sure if you do listen, you're going to get it. Make sure you stay tuned with me while I tell you if you watch this movie or not. Deputy Chairman Fred Hampton of the Illinois Black Panther Party. Repeat after me. Welcome back. So I don't know if you remember the guy from Queen and Slim of last year, 2020, around March, just before the lockdown. Amazing movie. The guy was also the guy from Black Panther, Daniel Kaula. He played the lead role in this movie as Fred Hampton. And it was a drama history movie telling us a story of what has happened years back, you know, the Black Life Matters kind of story. And Tracy was just trying to tell us what happened. So Fred was someone who wanted to fight for the people. He wanted to make sure that things were done right and they had equal rights. He was going to schools, youth club, telling people about their rights, what they should stand for and how they should defend themselves. So the, only, the funny thing was that he had a right hand man and that guy was always there, making sure it was there for him, taking him all the rights, the places, the visit. But little did we know that that guy was working for the other guys also so taking information from them to the cops and telling the cops everything what you know they were doing so it was a movie about the story so the bad guy who was like the judas was telling the story of how everything happened and how he had to snitch on fred but it was a very simple movie i love the storyline so you have to really listen to understand what they went through how they suffered, they sent him to jail, he came back, they sent him back again. He met a young girl along the line while they were walking, started dating, and then she got pregnant for him, so I was okay. I would like you to go watch the movie. So you see how it ended up with the girl and the child and the whole journey, what he really wanted to do, how he was able to achieve it. The honest truth was his legacy still lives on because people believed in what he was fighting for. I liked it. Reminded me of Queen and Slim again, you know, for story and then trying to fight for your life, you know, cops again and when you didn't do something wrong. Somewhat similar, but this is different because they were telling us a story all true. And what did I like about them? I like the fact that I couldn't really predict it. I love the suspense. I love the action side of it. I, I love the fact that they were telling us a story and explaining to us what really happened. It was So it's based on a true life story. It was really good. I'm not sure I had some things that I really didn't like. I felt it was long, but it was okay. And I also know that many people might not really like it because it's not their whole comedy, action, romance kind of movie, but a true life story, which definitely might win him some awards because he did that, you know, but he played the role really well. To my verdict, I will score this movie a 7.5, which is really close to 8, because the movie was good in terms of storyline, twist, suspense, and relating the lessons that we can learn when we work with people and we trust them so much. And then when we find out at the end that they were actually backstabbing us, it's kind of really sad. But simple and nice, I will end it there for today. As usual, I will always believe that you do follow us across our social media handles coming up on your screen. Make sure you leave us a comment, subscribe to our channel. And if you do like the movie, please tell us what you did like. And if you didn't, please let me know. I will always be happy to hear from you as your host Linda on The Real every week, bringing you lovely reviews on movies. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now. You can murder a liberator, but you can't murder liberation. You can murder a revolutionary, but you can't murder a revolution. You can murder!